So it looks like your dog um, has sarcoptic mange. Oh, what is it? What causes it? And is it dangerous to me? <laughs> um, so first of all, um, you might know sarcoptic mange as scabies. Um, and it's caused by a mite parasite, which looks like a round tiny spider, but it's, it's too small for us to see with the naked eye, so we have to look at it under a microscope. So these mites burrow into the skin of your dog, um, mainly in the genital areas, the lower belly and the wrist, so that's where you might see a rash, um, and then they take their blood and reproduce there. Um, their babies can then crawl out of the skin and make even more virus. So in your um, dog, we have the adult mite, um, which is the burrowing and it's it's where you're going to have the itchiness um, and then we have the eggs then the larval stage so that's the babies and then we have the nymph stage which then grows into the adult mite um, so each adult mite lives about four weeks in the dog and this whole, the rest of this whole life cycle takes about 10 to 15 days. So you can imagine that over time we have quite a build up of mites since they're living far longer than the rest of this life cycle and they can, you can have multiple eggs per adult mite. Um, you asked if it was, um, if you could catch it? Well, in the human, the, the, this mite is specific to the dog, so it is not able to complete its life cycle. Or as if you took your dog to the dog park and it's coming into contact with other dogs, um, then this mite is able to go on and reproduce and complete its life cycle. Mm. But in these days, I really feel some itchiness. Like, will it really bother me? Like, it, yeah. Um, so in humans, you can get some allergy-like symptoms such as blisters, itchiness, scabs and sores. Um, and this isn't usually dangerous to a healthy individual, but if you are immunosuppressed, um, if you're pregnant or young or very old, um, then whilst the mite itself may not actually be causing an issue, mm -hmm. um, the scabs and blisters and open wounds uh, may lead to secondary bacterial infections and that can be dangerous. Um, so in the immunosuppressed, you often see um, rashes in areas such as the neck, the face, um, the palms, the hands, and the scalp. Um, whilst we don't need to report this disease to our state health authority, um, if you're feeling that itchiness and you're worried that you may have contracted the mite, um, then we suggest going to consult your GP, um, as well as telling you know, anyone that your dog may have come into contact with that is immunosuppressed or elderly, um, that they may have uh, come into contact with this mite. Um, but we'll give you a fact sheet that you can take with you to your GP to make sure that they know what they're dealing with. Yeah, thank you.